Ryan Clayton. I'm the executive yeah. director of Wolfpack. And what's going on tonight, Ryan? Uh, we're getting together with other people in the state of Maryland who are interested in amending the Constitution with the 28th Amendment to get free and fair elections in our country. And all of this came out of a Supreme Court case, didn't it? That's correct. Um, Citizens United and many other court cases before it, like Buckley v. Vallejo, which gave us the perverse doctrine that artificial entities have inalienable rights, which is like crazy talk, right, um, to most people. Um, unfortunately, the Supreme Court thinks that that's constitutional law. And so what we have to do now is tell the Supreme Court through a constitutional amendment that actually these are our public elections and that we have the ability to restrict private interests and outside interests from influencing that with excessive spending. And what's the direct result of Citizens United? Well, how has it impacted on the people in our electoral uh, process? Yeah, well, I think if you look at the shutdown right now of the government, you know, that didn't just happen. That was bought and paid for by excessive spending by outside interests who want to dominate our politics. But I think in a democracy, uh, which is what we have, the people should rule. And we have to rescue that representative democracy from those outside interests that want to dictate our politics to us in this country. Now, when you say a constitutional amendment, most legal scholars, their ears are going to go up because they know that's a Herculean task. So you think you can pull that off? I, mean, I do. You're talking about yeah. going through the states and the you know, majority of this, majority of that. Yeah, well, look, it's like climbing any other mountain. You know, you start with the first step and you commit to finish. And every generation of Americans has amended the Constitution. If you think about it, we have 27 of them, right? Um, and so it's now our generation's responsibility, and really I think our greatest responsibility, to get private money out of public elections and restore representative democracy in this country. And the only way we can do that is to amend the Constitution, because no law can be protected, um, even if it's passed from the Supreme Court, whether at the state level or at the federal level, we can't protect any law that we pass uh, from the Supreme Court that is corrupt and broken. So what we have to do is amend the Constitution. There's really no other option. And we have the internet. So we have the most powerful tools that reformers like us have ever had um, at our disposal to amend the Constitution. So I'm pretty sure we can do it. If they, got, if they got it done without the internet, I'm pretty sure we can do it with the internet. Now, Ryan, a lot of people, when they looked at the shutdown, say, oh, the country is badly divided. You'll never get anything done. But other people say, it's starting to show that people are listening. So if you can make a case with the public from both the right and the left, you could pull it off. Yeah, well, I think people are angry. And quite frankly, they should be. And I don't really think it's left versus right in this country anymore. I think it's the people in Washington, D.C. who are doing things beyond our control and without our consent. And they're forcing this politics upon us. You know, well-heeled lobbyists and, you know, all of these outside interests, they dominate the target of opportunity that is Washington, D.C. for them. And they're not listening to the will of the people anymore, not in Congress, not in the Supreme Court. And so what we have to do is go down to the state level where, thankfully, the Constitution gives us another route to amending the Constitution. And we got to make sure that the will of the people and the voice of the people is felt to our state legislators. And that's what's going to get us an amendment at the end of the day. Congress is broken. You know, it's over. Uh, the Supreme Court is corrupted. You know, it is corporately controlled. It is bought and sold just as much as Congress is. And so what we have to do is go to the place where our politicians are still listening, which is at the state level. And thankfully, um, a lot of them are still listening. We're finding that's more true every day. We talk to tons of people we have working on this throughout the country, are talking to their state legislators and finding that they'll return your calls. They'll call you up and leave their cell phone number on your voicemail and call you back. And they're really interested in hearing from you, unlike in Congress, where they get mountains of correspondence every week. You know, and you really, the most you're going to get back from them is a form letter, right? At the state level, you're actually going to get to talk to your legislator, and you can have an impact on the decisions they make, because democracy is still alive at the state level. Okay, anything else, man? That's it. Okay, thanks so much.